Hello everyone, April Lemongrass Spa Consultant here and I'm super excited to share with you our skincare routine. So, raise your hand, drop in the comments how many of you are guilty of going to the store and buying whatever products look good, smell good, are on sale. Raise your hand. It's okay. I was one of those totally guilty. I had no idea. So, since learned joining Lemongrass Spa and learning more, you actually want to buy products from the same company. They are designed to work together to give you the best results possible. So I'm going to go over our super easy steps for skincare and you're going to love it. Um, so in the comments, drop what is your skincare type? Let me know. Are you oily, blemish, dry, sensitive, pretty normal? Let me know. We can find a solution for you and you're going to love the results afterwards. I will mention, jumping in and trying natural skincare, you do have to allow some adjustment time to rid yourself of all of the gunk that is hidden in your skin. You may have clear skin right now and you will find that there's actually a lot in there in those underlying um, pores of ours. So don't worry, we'll work through it and we'll get you taken care of. All right, so first step is you wanna wash your face. We have some cleansing gels and we also have some bar soaps. So you get to decide which one you would prefer. I will be focusing on our prebiotic facial wash. It's one of my customer's favorites. I've used it as well, um, really do like it. So the benefits of the prebiotic, you've heard of probiotic that feeds the good bacteria in your gut. The prebiotics feeding the good bacteria on your skin and we all need that. It also helps balance out the pH on your skin. So if you have dry skin, that might mean that your skin's a little bit more alkaline. It's okay, we can work through that, all right? So with the prebiotic, it is good for all skin types. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's the right choice for your skin type. We'll work through that, don't worry about it. So a tiny bit in the palm of your hand, um, I say put it in there, take a little bit and dab it around and then massage it all in. You can use a face cloth if you would like or a facial pad or just use your hands. Circular motions upwards because gravity is already pulling us down. So push your skin back up, um, really helpful with that. And then you can rinse it. Don't use hot water. Hot water is actually pretty harsh on your skin um, and can damage it. So lukewarm you can even use cool water and you'll be fine all right so next step oh before we get past this wash your face at night I recently read if you don't wash your face at night you're aging your skin by like seven times like faster or something that's scary ladies so be sure to wash your face at night I know sometimes it's an extra step but you will love the end result okay all right so I also learned this, if you're washing your face at night and you have a fairly normal skin type, you don't necessarily have to wash it in the morning. How awesome is that? And we have our facial mist that will help you with that because in the morning you can use this to freshen up and really get you going. It's going to save you some time, it's going to save you some money, and it's going to save on your products, alright? Facial mist. This is a lot better than a toner. A toner, a lot of times you get that stinging, that dryness, because there's most likely ice pearl alcohol in there or some other astringent in there that's really stripping your face of um, your natural oils. You don't want that. You want those natural oils on your skin. Our facial mist is not going to dry you out. It's actually going to add a layer of hydration to your skin. You can use this after washing. Um, removes any last bit of makeup or dirt that might be left behind. And then, like I said, if you have a fairly normal skin type, you don't have to rewash in the morning. Use this, again, spritz it on a washcloth, on a cotton swab, or right on your face and just kind of hydrate yourself. Um, you're going to love this stuff. I wasn't so sure about it at first, but now um, I use it every day with that. Love it. All right. So then, after we got cleansed, we need to moisturize. One of the most popular is our face cream with botanicals. Um, some ladies love it because of the smell. Other ladies love it because there's some geranium essential oil in there for the added um, extra benefits. A lot of people either over moisturize 
or under moisturize. With ours, it's really easy almost to know. You get like a pump or a half a pump either in the palm of your hand or the top of your hand. Either way, again, dip it in there, spot it around, and then blend it in. If you're blending it on your hand, you're gonna waste a lot of product on your hands versus getting it on your face. The other awesome thing is it's an air pump, so it's pushing all of the product from the bottom up, very little waste. And if you like to get the most bang for your buck, take the lid off, it twists off really easy, and you can get um, a few more uses out of it with a Q-tip getting in there. So really get all of the product use out of that one. The next step in kind of the daily routine is my favorite, the hydrating eye cream. I say everybody has to have this stuff. It's awesome. I love it so much. I love it so much. I use it as my all over face cream because I love the hydration of it. I um, noticed it was even removing the large wrinkles I had on my forehead, so that was awesome. But let's go. Normal use, you would just put it under your eyes, maybe above your eyes if you have some wrinkles up there, and then if you'd like on the top of your lip if you're getting some wrinkles there as well. Really will reduce um, those wrinkles, it will reduce puffiness under your eyes. Um, some guys are using this with seasonal allergy to get that puffiness from under the eyes there. So I love that. So these are your like four steps you're going to use about daily um, for your cleansing and your hydrating steps there. Then we'll get into the kind of the luxury, the oh my face feels amazing. Because it's already going to feel amazing, but this is like oh. Alright, so. Make sure I grab the right one here. Our facial polish. So I have the detoxifying charcoal facial polish. We have two other facial polishes. And the exfoliant in here is jojoba beads. It's super soft and gentle with your skin, but it's really gonna remove that top layer of dead skin. Um, kind of start to diminish those fine lines, any age spots you might have over time. You want to remove that dead layer of skin, it's going to give you a nice glow and it's going to help that moisturizer absorb a lot better. Facial polish. Want to use it once a week for sure. If your skin allows it, you can use it up to three times a week. I would say use it every other day um, to give your skin a little break there. We have a couple other polishes as I mentioned and then if you really want age defying, anti-aging, we have a microdermabrasion cream. It's not as soft as this, but it does amazing job um, on fine lines and age spots with that. And it's a fraction of the cost of going to the spa and getting a microdermabrasion peel done. That's in the hundreds of dollars, okay? So, oh, drop a comment if you want to know about that because I use it. I love it. So, facial mask. All right, I got the detoxifying charcoal mask here. You've probably watched those crazy videos on YouTube, on Facebook, of those ladies ripping off those masks, being in pain. Don't worry, ours doesn't dry hard. It's gonna dry soft, it doesn't really even dry out. And um, it's super hydrating. Can you believe that? A mask that hydrates at the same time. All right, so with the detoxifying charcoal, it's gonna be pulling out all of those impurities um, I always give caution is because when you start to use this, you might have some breakouts. That's perfectly normal. It's pulling out all of that gunk we didn't know we had in our pores. The other thing is the bentonite clay in here. It can um, turn your face a little bit red or a little bit warm. And that's because it's pulling that gunk out and it's pulling the blood to the surface at the same time. So it is normal. If you have questions when you use it, let me know. I'm happy to um, walk you through that. We also do have two other masks besides the charcoal. If the charcoal is not your thing, that's okay. Um, and you mask once a week. Um, you can also use this periodically to spot treat if you have um, any pimples or breakouts. I recently learned, unfortunately, us ladies, our body about every seven years goes through hormonal changes so that can affect our skin. 
um, with breakouts and then of course that monthly visitor also can affect those breakouts. So that is um, our six piece skincare kit. It's the ultimate collection here. Um, it is going to last you at least six months if not longer. Um, I will mention this mask. I've had it well over six months and I've been using it personally and for demonstrations. So um, it lasts a lot longer. The eye cream, if you only use it as eye cream, it's going to last you a year if not longer. So it's a really great investment into your skin. And did I mention you can use this as eye makeup remover too. So you're getting two products in one with this guy. So that's um, it. If you have any questions, you want help picking out the right products for your skin type, leave a comment here. I'm happy to assist you and get you the best face because it is our first impression. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, let me know and we'll be chatting soon. Bye guys.